Configuring accounts in Smart FTP. This tutorial will show you how to configure Smart FTP to connect to a server via FTP. The user interface for Smart FTP is markedly different than most other FTP clients available and may get confusing to new users. In keeping with a consistent and easily recognizable format, we will first configure Smart FTP's layout to mimic the majority of FTP clients you may encounter. Select the Window menu item. Move the mouse over Auto Layout. Select Local Left Remote Right. Next, we will set the folder on your local machine that Smart FTP will reference when it connects to your server. Click the Tools menu. Select Settings. Click Quick Folders. Click the Insert Folder button. Enter a name. Now, use the directory tree to navigate and choose the local folder you would like Smart FTP to connect to. Once you're done, click the OK button. Click the OK button. Now, let's configure the rest of the information and establish a connection to the remote server. Click the New Remote Browser button. Enter the host. If your domain is still pointing to a different server or your DNS changes have not propagated yet, you can use the IP address of the server instead of a fully qualified domain name. Enter the path. This is the remote folder that Smart FTP will automatically reference as soon as it connects to your server. For primary domains on cPanel accounts, this should be for subdomains and add-on domains if when connecting with the cPanel user, this should be For subdomains and add-on domains when connecting with a separate FTP user, this should be For primary domains on Plesk accounts, this should be For subdomains on Plesk accounts, depending on the configuration of the subdomain, this should be If this field is left blank, the remote directory will default to the user's home directory. Enter the username. Now enter the password. Lastly, let's enter a name for the connection. Click the OK button to save your changes and connect to the server. Now let's open our local folder so that we can begin transferring files. Click the New Local Browser button. Select the folder that we saved in Quick Folder at the beginning of this tutorial.
Congratulations, you now know how to configure Smart FTP to connect to a server via FTP.